All right, item seven, the control circuit explanatory notes and schematics. A, the supply motor generator which produces the current of 120 volts feeds is through. B, which is 100, which is 100 amp per fuse on the positive wire. Control circuit is now routed that the group of miniature, miniature circuit breaker is marked C. The control current and the output is marked uh, output through B will operate the fitting of the not shown called for the battery relay, but register reverse current relay generator automatic switch. The battery relay will be in turn close the battery contactor to mark D. The supply current will be by E and the desk control key F. Control key F will now feed the, feed the current of the group of the miniature, miniature circuit breakers marked G on the outside with the control key of the circuit breaker H. As well as feeding through the E connections the control mark available to the group of the miniature circuit breakers marked N. The battery double the whole switch of the K is closed with the current feed available to the Viva 100 amper fuse marked L and N. To charge the nest of the storage batteries marked J, the equipment marked P of the battery ionometer, this important device readily indicates the batteries are being charged or discharged. With no output, the supply motor generator A battery connector D will open the battery jet uh, batteries. J will provide limited time control circuit as far as now, but not through battery contactor D, which is limited time battery circuit. It will be seen simplified schematic. All the miniature circuit breakers are marked M will be fed. All right, here is your. Here's your ammeter with a fuse, the battery in the real voltage fuse, battery negative fuse, battery legislation switch, um, also a closed switch open uh, double real status supply management main gate you have these open closed switches number one two head monitor number one head light marker number cab um, high tension compartment lights quarter lights and then you have another path which breaks down into which goes um, from the battery connector, the electrical connector main, to the key switches, which have opening lockings, to the pantos down number two, one compressor, number one and two compressors, locomotive brake cylinder, pantos up, control circuits, then back again to the other side of the cab, um, number two cab window header light, window heaters, window heaters number number one and two cab hot plate and excite main generator control. Um, then it goes around from the battery generator um, around the back side of the last outside of the circuit. It runs a generation fuse with a voltage regulator with a supply generator at 120 volts, positive and negative voltage. And this is supply generator is producing current with the group of the miniature of the circuit breaker is marked C. You cannot be fed them um, with the E clove of the separate generator A running with the producing current with the batteries J connected with the K. The group E and H available to the control key is must be and the two fed with the group of the control breakers marked G. The extended control lines marked with R are those which extend with the jumper compass. Jumper, jumper couplers and multiple unit working. If supply generator A or the 100 amper fuse B should fail, the reverse current relay will open and disconnect the battery con connector D. The failure of fuses L and N would cause the failure of the battery circuit. The failure of the fuses B and L and N would cause the battery chain charging to cease. The battery charging ammeter is low tension cabinet number two, which should never be showed discharge, and the battery connector should be closed. If the ammeter show, ammeter show for the discharge and the battery connector is closed, then inform the driver immediately. The indications show the battery charge is not occurring. The locomotive may be operated only for the limited period before the total failure of the control circuits. Alright, indication of depleted batteries on these locomotives usually um, by the dimness for the cab lights and can often be detected during the preparation of the locomotive if the cab lights are not bright before the supply of the generator starts. The initial charging of the rate is about 30 amperes that will indicate low batteries. If the batteries are high and high, the charging should be between 2 and 10 amps when, when the, where the cab lights are observed to being with un, un, unduly dim with a fed from the batteries along with the supply motor generator now started up upon the low charging rate indicated by the battery ammeter. The condition of the battery is suspect. Under the circumstances, do not switch the off of the supply generator before the arrival of the destination. The battery ammeter is under the all circumstances the best indicate the condition of the batteries. In some cases, it is very low batteries is it is possible for a charge of 50 amperes to be indicated, but this charge should be not maintained for more than 10 minutes. And this period should fail to approximately t should fall to approximately 10 amps. And should the charging rate be maintained at 50 amperes over 50, 10 minutes, the battery double pole switch which should be open and the batteries taken out with the charger circuit. Charging circuit. If any, if any of the inspection with the battery contactor is made with the time that does not lift the arc chute covering the contactor while the generator is running during the course of the preparation of the inspection battery ammeter, but the generator is running, with, compare with the charging rate with the conditions given previously before the switching off the supply generator. Take inspection. Do not run the locomotive with the generator switch off. Remember that if the battery is are depleted badly, the generator switch to the locomotive will be failure. 
All right, item eight, pantograph and pantograph control. Pantograph provides a means for disconnecting the overhead line and voltage disconnecting it from the locomotive. Raising the lower, the pantograph must never be done while it, while while it's in, in any current with it being drawn. Current is being drawn with either the tr throttle isn't open in any of the auxiliary high tension machines or during or running. Um, during the light engine running of the rear pantograph only is employed. During all the train working, pantographs are to be employed. If only the pantograph is employed with the train working, all the machines may adequately be fed with the server. The sparking of the wood taking the current withdrawal was heavy. However, between the west med and the um, points for the east, there, the, there are two or more locomotives that are attached. Only one of the pantographs is employed on each locomotive. The exemption is due to the lighter nature of the overhead wire. The yellow symbol of the back center means the stop of the insertion of the route is intended to wire the bed stop, means the stop and the lower to isolate with all pantographs and the 45, 46 class of locomotives is required to hold by beyond the point. Failure to observe the simple rules will cause a series of damage to the pantograph. Pantograph raising lower reactions are visually inspected with the fireman observer with a report to the driver before entering high tension compartment as well as the separate operating of the lower and isolating pantograph mechanisms essentially to observe that the pantographs so have been folded down. It's quite possible for the pantographs to remain in contact over with the overhead wire after lowering the magnet valves have been erupted, operated due to the stiffness of the pantograph details. All right, this shows the pantograph raising and lowering magnet valves, uh, high, high tension door lock, interlock, the number one fan motor, number two rest in the component control compartment, pantographic valves, number two, one and two end, number two end, number one end. Are right, your pantographic air control? The illustration of three-way cocks. Pantographic control of a reserve from M, the main reserve. Three-way cock, a horizontal surface position when the main reserves have been charged. Um, you see your cocks at the main pantographic control reserve. The three-way cock at the horizontal surface where the main reserve have been charged. Around, falling around to the ma pantographic magnetic valves. All right, your um, illustration of three-way cock. You have your, uh, from the main reserve, pressure reducing valve in the isolating valve, valve um, cock. Prime anagraphic reserve, uh, reserve, um, three way cock, cut down, um, three way cock down, charging position, storage reserves, the storage main marine valve, and storage reserver. Our right, illustration of three-way cock. All right, pantographic isolation, pantographic magnet valve, pantographic uh, magnet valve, pantographic il isolating cock, three-way cock up in the pantographic racing position, storage reserve, and hand pump marine valve. To provide two separate um, sources of air, uh, air from the pantographic racing, the air from the pantographic control reserve, the route over the storage reserve of the trap in the marine valve. Later, also trap in the pantographic control of the reserve and the closing in the and out of the isolation cocks. To raise the pantographic condenser to have the supply of the compressed air and the route to have the pantographic cylinder on the roof to lower the pantographic condenser to prevent the all airflow of the roof of the cylinder and its discharge already at present. These actions may be made with the made, by hand made manipulation armature plated with the pantographic magnet valve. This method is used with the flat valve fault existing in the raising and lower buttons for the cab dex panel. To raise pantographic remote cab and desk buttons, control is necessary that the control current is present with the control key with the V with the battery switch. The lower pantograph of the remote cab desk buttons with control is not necessary to have the control key switch on the battery circuit. Current must be switched on. Alright, item 8. Pantographic, pantographic control. There are two types of pantographic magnet valves. Each magnet valve refers to the racing, lowering, and one pantographic number one and pantographic number two and pantographic. Each magnet valve conformed with the description contained within item five of the two solenoid coils. When the disc raising button the switch is pressed and the control current is will flow with the raising solenoid, the solenoid now being the temporary magnet will attract the vertical amateur plate, which will then allow the horizontal plate to fall down. When the latter armature pl pl plate falls down, it permits the air valve to open the route of the, route of the pantograph of the control to reserve air pressure for the pantographic roof cylinder. The piston of the pantographic roof cylinder is now forced on a full stroke release of the pole with the permanent through racing spring of the insert, uh, insert the force of the pantographic unfolding it and forcing it into the contact overhead high tension wire with the spring pressure about 828 PSI. When the desk lowering button switch is pressed, the raising solenoid is de-energized, lowering the solenoid is energized, the vertical raising armature is released, and a horizontal lower armaturing plate is attracted. When the lowering armature plate is thus retracted, the engaged the air valve cuts off the pantograph control reservoir airflow with the discharge 
exposure air with the panographic roof cylinder. Panographic low spring lowering springs now taking the charge, causing the panograph to break away from the high tension overhead wire roll and fold down. It's necessary to have control current through the desk control to keep the panographic raising the desk buttons. Panographic three-way control air cock must be placed horizontal to the route air through the panographic control reservoir to the panographic roof cylinder. It must be placed vertically upwards to the route air through the storage reserve of the emergency hand pump. In both cases, all the panographic isolating cocks should be open. They are located immediately above the magnetic valve of the desk button. Um, switch is out to the exercise of either the raising or lowering solenoids to the magnet valve. The armature plates may be hand-operated. This high-tension main switch is closed with the lock from the reverse key, reverser key. The air cannot be enrouted to the panographic roof cylinder. Any air contained with the roof cylinder is vented when the main high-tension switch is unlocked. In multiple unit working, the control current is operated with the panograph at the front locomotive. They also view the jumper cable to cause the similar interaction to the rear locomotive. Locomotive. All right, item nine: air hoses on the class 40, 46 class locomotive. Their employment and spare hose equipment to be carried in the location of the air hose and used on the driver's side of the locomotive. Each of the end of the one-inch hand bra head head brake pipe, the type of the air hose and dummy coupling on the fireman's side. At each end of the three-quarter inch head main reserve air hose dummy coupler. And note that these two air hoses are not interchangeable. One of the, on the driver's side at each of the end of the connection between the car body and the boogie frame. One sand circuit and intermediate with the air hose and one brake pipe intermediate with the air hose. Um, one fireman side at each of the end of the connection break, um, between the car body boogie frame, one main reserve, one brake cylinder, one sand gear, intermediate type air hose. The intermediate type air hose, the media, intermediate type air hose is referred to as the flexible air hose as they connect the two mobile portions of the car body to the boogie frame. The two flexible air hoses on the roof of the 46 class locomotive convey air with the operation of the panographic piston. The two one and a half inch type B air hoses, which are used in multiple unit working to connect air across the number three and number four independent brake pipe, are carried one in the east corridor, number two end of the locomotive. Spare hoses carried in an equipment box or wayside replacement purposes are one main reserve type and in type air hose, one brake pipe and type air hose, one flexible intermediate type medium reserve air hose, um, one flexible intermediate type brake cylinder air hose, one intermediate type air sand circuit air hose. Should always be remembered that the spare main reserve brake pipe air hose is conventionally located on the connected end of the locomotive. No spare replacement flexible hoses for the panographics are carried. All right, notice of replacement. Two flexible arrows on the roof may be separately isolated should they be from the clothing and applicable isolation cock with the machinery compartment. The air pressure in the panographic control reserve will readily indicate isolating with a defective hose. It should not be overlooked that the panographic control reserve is greatly excessive with 70 psi. This pressure may be caused by the burst hose to show exceed pressure that caused by the burst hose to show uh, adjust the pressure on the panographic control of the reserve to 70 psi at the pressure reducing valve. During the train working, the flow meter indicates the burst air pressure air hose. A. The first association of the two intermediate one end brake pipe hose on the locomotive are not involved. B. The carrying of the car correct spare hose and tool along with the train until the burst of the hose is located. And D. When any of the interference with the brake pipe is necessary, take the special care of the both relevant air cocks have been fully open. Alright, item 10 automatic alarm safeguards. Open under the setting of the four devices on the 46 glass locomotive, there are line switch indicator lamp, the motor generator, the resistant fan lamp, the wheel slip relay buzzer and lamp, the wheeling house brake flow meter and indicator. A, the line switch lamp, the red lamp, it will flicker momentarily in normal function when the throttle is moved from off to the notch one. If the line switch is closed, the correct high tension current feeds through the traction motor. Where due to the fault, one bank of the motors have been isolated, the lights, the line switch lamp will no longer be circuit. In circuit, if the whistle of the throttle uh, whistle, uh, if the wh will of the throttle is open, any of the fault de um, develops the high tension current. It's high tension circuit with a one four protective relay with intervening automatically upon the line of switches on fault with the cutting of the over off the current flow with the traction motor. The red lamp will shine continuously to warn the driver of the occurrence. Uh, Since the line switch of the air is electromagnetic type of the failure of the control circuit over the control air pressure would cause the opening of the fault. Again, the red lamp will shine in the warning of the when the regenerator brake level is made with the brake fielding of the red lamp will shine is ordinarily event until the throttle is open. And then there's a large 46 a schematic arrangement air brake um, system, two air compressors, um, your double cut duplex gauge, flow meter, flow meter indicator, windshield wipers, uh, horns, main air reserve cocks, um, sand indicators, which is typical. Are um, check out my sway. 
it shows the main starting resistance resistant fan motors see the fan motor here here Her resistant fan motor, you have your lamp, your uh, master control, the labyrinth valve, magnet valve cave, pedal gaffer control reserve. Um, see the main reserve time delay, main reserve, um, 70 psi fan motor, um, real staff fan control motor and time delay sequences, uh, fan even motor generator, um, resistance, um, resistant fans, four motors. Alright, let me back out of this. Resistant fan miniature circuit breaker fan delay, delay um, time delay reserve. Alright, the motor generator resistant fan lamp is yellow. At all times, the control circuit is available through the best control key. The supply motor the generator is running. The yellow lamp will shine with continuously warning the crew that neither the supply of the motor generator nor the exciter motor generator is running. Therefore, the battery charging is not taking place. The battery charge is being led away, and the traction motor is bl not blowing is not taking place. When the throttle is open until it is posi positioned in notch 20, the high tension current flowing with the traction motor is being routed through all. Through all, through all and some of the 19 main starting resistance in order to graduate the starting effect. The resistant units are the housing, either the housing tension compartment immediately, uh, high tension compartment immediately behind the fireman's observer station. These resistance and units producing the heat after the one minute route required forcing ventilation. Below each of the resistance compartment, four powerful resistance or real stat fans are located. Each has its own own inbuilt motor. One of the minute after the high tension current is feeding through the resistance of these eight fan motors should start fans running in the final eight resistance. If it, if all and any of these fans fail to run, the throttle has not reached the notch twenty yellow lamp will shine to warn the crew. The principal cause of the resistance of fan failure are supply motor generator, exciter motor generator not running, resistant fan thermal circuit breakers are trip. Simple effective test of the resistant fan is start up the supply motor generator, turn it off, then turn the zest control key on. This then place the throttle in the resistant notch one through nineteen. After one minute the yellow lamp will go out with all the resistant fans start with up some of the cause of the rheostat of the failures are supply motor generator running supply generators running out but it let a hundred amp fuses burn out the exciter motor generator supply for the current with drive of the fan motor the exciter motor the generator will not run unless the supply motor generator is running producing current through the one hundred amp fuses and electro pneumatic switch hole housed in the machinery compartment of the issues to connect the current and the disconnect the eight radio stat fan motors. Pressure of the air switch is 60 PSI is required to close the connecting of the switch. The 60 PSI air pressure fed through the time delay reserve for the purpose of the fan graphic control reserve so that the PNC reserve is isolated does not contain sufficient pressure or the time delay reserve isolated with electro pneumatic switch but not connect the radio stat fan currently. Housed the two separate cabinets in the machinery compartment is total eight thermal circuit ther thermal type circuits. The control drive of the eight real stat fan and motor fans pair well with these. If one of the all circuit breakers trip and under the current load, the, all the or those real stat fans will start. Yellow lamp will shine. We will slip relay equipped within the forty six class locomotives if the purpose of warning driver of the slip if the motor and sliding of the regenerated braking if any of the locomotive wheels. Right, when, the, when the wheel adhesion of the rail is correct, there's similar vol volume of the current is derived with these, each direction motor, which is probably pinioned on the re related to the locomotive axle. With any of the slips, the armature of the traction motor has been rotated faster, therefore the different uh, differential of the current, therefore, therefore between the gripping and the slipping of the wheel, the condition brings the wheel, the slip relay, to life of the relay, the, the third, this relay feeds the control circuit to operate with the wheel slip buzzer and pilot line. Um, the control current with the operator of the buzzing lamp is routed through the locomotives and sand miniature the circuit breaker number five. Experimentally, experimentally, another relay has been equipped with an engine 46 to 25, which comes to life with any time of the master control. So accelerating handle is in position at notch one. Again, control current will feed the wheel as a slip buzzer and pilot lamp. The arrangement is intended the warning of the current is being fed but through the resistance of with the such in, such in, in, instance, but the driver cannot. It's erroneously, er, erroneously to return the throttle into one denial, which intended to shut off, shut off. 
The Western air brake flow meter indicated the device of the important forward function of the working for the crew of the brake pipe pressure of the being interfered interfere with the outside of the operating br operation of the drive. Otherwise descriptive word, therefore, the flow indicator will will and warn guarding passenger emergency air cocks open with the brake pipe air pressure on the hose connection with a leaking of the burst through the train that become divi divi divided. The flow indicator will function only if the driver's automatic valve of that handle is running. Position brake valve isolating cock open. The warning of any regular irregularity brake pipe pressure in the above mentioned conditions will be made with the insistent below the warning airflow of the major pipe of the vent port through port points of the flow indication indicator will put widely separate the remaining at the indication until the brake pipe pressure has been restored all right blank 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 and that completes the reading of your Department of Railways, North South Wales, Me Me Mechanicals Branch, 46 Electrical Locomotive, General Working Instruction for Fireman and Observers by Authority, FP Hard, Chief Mechanical Engineer, July 1958.